how to do video capture on Analyze IR. First, plug the thermal camera into the computer via the USB Type C cable. Then, click Connect. For 340 series, select ZUSB for external device. The port number is automatically recognized as ZUSB. Okay. So it's connected. About the connection for other portable tabs, select USB or USB Plus for external device. The port number is automatically recognized. Click OK. You can enter the workspace. This is for the device except 340. We can see here disconnect. If you want to disconnect uh, the thermal camera with the computer, you can click here. Now we can control the thermal camera on Analyze IR. For example, we can click Auto Focus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this button, Calibrate, you can click for Calibrate the thermal camera. For example, click. You can hear the sound. That is for calibrating. And for the lens, usually we cannot change it. Even if we choose it, it will come back automatically. For the temperature range, we can change it. For example, we can change to 0 to 650 degrees Celsius. Oh, it's changed. And then we can come back, minus 20 to 120 degrees Celsius. Oh, it comes back. For the frame rate, we can also change it, for example, to 10. Okay. Here is used to stat the trigger for recording. For example, we can choose menu, date, time, duration, condition, and external trigger. For example, menu. The triggers, menu trigger, means manually trigger the device to start or stop some video recording. The default setting is menu. Date time means set up date and time to trigger the device to stop or start some video recording. You can view the date and time manually. From here to here. And duration means set up the delay time to start the recording of the trigger. You can set the time here, duration. And for condition, means set up the conditional trigger. Once a condition is met, it will trigger the start or stop of recording. And external trigger means you can connect to a input or output module to trigger the start or stop of recording. From here, if we click record, now it's recording. If we stop, mm -hmm, the video is recorded. 
here you can play it okay you can save it and we can also use other triggers for example day time you can set right now it's 329 we can set 330 as a trigger time trigger or wait okay now it's 330 it's recording so if we click stop the recording is done we can look at it this is the video recorded late and we can also use other figure for example condition we can set a maximum temperature uh, as a trigger for recording for example we can write about 30 or then we scan oh, find a spot 31 degrees around so now it's recording automatically stop the video is recorded play And then we can also set an upper limit and a lower limit of temperature for the recording. For example, or disarm, we choose between from 36 to 38 as the lower limit and upper limit so arm it okay so we turn now it's not recording you can see okay so now it's recording because this point this area the temperature is over 36 degrees celsius stop it so the video is recorded Great complete. Okay. We can also set a trigger for stop. Disarm. We can set here 30 degrees below 30 degrees as a trigger for stop. For the start, we can set about 35 degrees as the trigger of start so arm it now we try it means if the temperature detected is over 35 degrees celsius the camera will be recording automatically if the maximum temperature detected is below 30 degrees celsius the recording will be stopped automatically so we try it turn the camera okay so now it's recording automatically you can see here because this area the maximum temperature is over 35 degrees celsius we take it back It stopped you can see here automatically we come back again starts recording again turn it back again see here 
Oh, stopped automatically. We can also set a duration as a trigger. For example, we set the start trigger for about 34 degrees Celsius. Okay. And for the stop trigger, we set 10 seconds. That means one, the temperature is over 34 degrees Celsius. It will be recording until 10 seconds. The record will be done. Arm it. Turn the thermal camera. Look at the, the button, this button. Okay, the recording is triggered because this area is over 34 degrees Celsius. Okay, 10 seconds comes. So the recording is done. But our camera is still focused on this area. So the recording will be continued each 10 seconds. So when we move our camera out of this area, Okay, so after the last 10 seconds, it stopped. We can also set the daytime as the start and stop triggers both. For example, for start, we can set, now it's 5.11, so we can set 5.12. And for the stop trigger, we, sh we can set 5.12. 10 seconds. Arm it. We wait to see what will happen. 1, 5, 12 comes. Look at this button. Okay, so now it's recording automatically. We will see what will happen after 10 seconds. Okay, the recording is done. So 10 seconds recording from 5, 12 to 5, 10.